Hey guys, Queen of Hearts here and welcome back to another vlog. If you are new, hey girl, stay a while. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today is Tuesday the 16th. Um, I just got a call from the furniture people and my couch is finally on its way. It, the, um, the delivery drivers are five minutes away so they just called to let me know that um it's about 12 23 my delivery window was between 12 and 3 so i'm excited that they're coming um at the top of the window i made me this um and shout out to megan for my starbucks cups because <laughs> they definitely come in handy but um i made me an iced coffee I showed you guys that I used, I bought this from the store the other day, this Stoke cold brew coffee, unsweet. And then I have this caramel macchiato creamer and I put caramel drizzle here um, on the inside of it and I love I love it and I was just thinking to myself like Shay do you have a coffee addiction because if so you need to cut it out it's getting a little wild around here um <laughs> but anyways yeah I'm just waiting on them I um, took off today of course because I had the delivery and I'm so glad I'm off because although um I just uploaded a video yesterday i need to get out this past weekend's vlog so i'm just in here editing um i'll show you guys so i'm just in here editing this this is probably gonna take um a couple hours because i filmed a lot this past um this past weekend so that's what i'm in here doing yeah that's all um i just wanted to come on here and say hey welcome back to another vlog and um, I'll see you guys once my couch is delivered. And once that's delivered, I'm gonna be able to tell like what other kind of uh, decor I need because I was just sitting in my chair um, last night and I was like, dang, I need something on these tables because it's it seems pretty you know empty in here. Oh, and I also have to get a new um, TV. I showed y'all that the movers broke it. So yeah, I'm just, I've been looking online to see like what I want. They're calling me back now, so I'll um, talk to y'all later. Hello? Guys. I could cry. Look at this. If y'all, if y'all can tell me what's missing, I give you two dollars. My couch is not here. I am livid because once again, it will not fit. Now, before you get to thinking, oh, Shay, well, it's your fault. No. It's not. The thing is, the couch could have fit in the elevator. But because the delivery people were so rude, unprofessional, a bunch of idiots, they did not even try to position the couch in a way where it could fit. And you want to know how I know? Because my last couch was bigger than this couch. And I made sure that it was a difference in size. Now, I asked them, could you maybe cut a corner in a way where the bottom would fit in the elevator? They laughed and said, no, it's not gonna fit. We might as well put it back on the truck. 
Now, like I told my mama, had it been, had I not been alone, I would have cussed their ass out because number one, you're not even showing a customer that you care about her getting her couch on a reselect. You're not showing um, any kind of compassion towards me because you don't you you're not even caring even 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 after i'm asking you well can you move it this way i still feel like you could have at least tried and they did not try at all even after i asked so i'm super frustrated i don't have a couch i'm gonna have to reselect again I'm just, apparently Ashley Furniture uses a third party delivery service and there's no, there's no way for me to contact them. I'm just pissed, like I could cry. So, Right now, I'm just, I've been looking. It was suggested that I just get a sectional so that, you know, it comes in pieces. I'm just mad because I know the damn couch would have fit had they tried again another way. I'm so pissed, but anyway. In other news, let me turn this light on. In other news, I picked up a package. I have a new phone. I got it in gold i ordered my case and screen protector yesterday so it should be here tomorrow um i currently i need to back up my phone because i took it off auto i gotta remember how to get to it Figure out, I'll figure out how to do it, but yeah, I got that. Um, I can't talk, I'm just uh, I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max in gold, it's so pretty, and it's like, let me see, definitely a size difference. This is the 11, and this is the 13 Pro Max. This one has two cameras and this one has three. I'm excited about content with this new phone because Keisha had showed me this girl on TikTok made like a, I feel like it was a, a routine thing and it just like, just the clarity of it looks so pretty and just perfect. So I love this. Anyways, I'm about to back up my phone and um, finish editing this vlog and find me another couch. You can tell I'm pissed. Alright, I'm going to get off camera because I'm not in the best of mood, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm not sure if I've already started off this vlog 
or not. I can't remember. I feel like I have, because I remember showing y'all my new phone. And I remember talking about my couch that wasn't delivered, but I can't remember if I said hey. If not, again, hey y'all. So I just got home um, not too long ago. I have some groceries that I need to put up. And my nose itch. I do wanna give y'all an update on my neck. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> there we go. So I do have still a couple of spots here. And then there was some eczema right here too. But for the most part, it is clearing up nicely. My sister came by the other day and gave me some cream that she was prescribed um, because she also had an eczema kind of breakout. Um, so yeah, it's clearing up, but this part right here is the last to clear up and then of course it's dark, so. Yeah, that's all for that. Let me show y'all what I got from the store. So I'm gonna make some shrimp and grits. Oh, one of y'all asked me to show y'all how to make my, um, my salmon. So I did make a salmon Caesar salad this week and I filmed it for you guys, um, well, the salmon portion of it. Um, I'm actually gonna eat that for those leftovers for dinner tonight. So um, I did record that and I will probably insert uh, that clip after this, after I show you guys what I got from the, the grocery store. So let me go ahead. So I initially went in for a snack. <laughs> This was supposed to be the only thing I went in there to get and I ended up spending $40. So I got some Oreos, got some grits. Told y'all I'm making shrimp and grits in the morning. It's gonna be my first time actually making shrimp and grits. I'm pretty excited. I saw some really good looking recipes on TikTok, so yeah. I got an onion. I already have sausage that I bought last week. I got some parsley flakes as well. I needed some more red wine. This was only $6.99. It's from Harris Teeter. It's called the Naked Grape. So I got this. Um, hopefully it's good. I got it from like the sweet red wine section. I like sweet wines. I don't like dry or bitter wines, so. Yeah. I got some more coffee. I used the last of mine today, but this comp, this time I got the unsweet black extra bold. My other one was unsweet. Hold on, let me see. I have to dig in my trash can, but it's a new um, trash bag, so it's okay. This one is the unsweet black bold and smooth stoke but I ended up getting the unsweet black extra bowl. So I want to see if there's like um, a noticeable difference in these two. So this is the new one I bought. And my coffee has been so good this week. Oh my God. I also got some Ready Whip just to spice it up. Um, so I'm gonna do the caramel drizzle, ice, coffee, my caramel macchiato creamer, whipped cream, and I'll probably put some cinnamon powder on top. Some ground cinnamon powder. So, yeah. Also got some whipping cream for the shrimp and grits in the morning. I got some chicken broth for the uh, grits. I got a bell pepper for the grits or for the um, shrimp root. I got some watermelon, so this is gonna be a snack along with those um, Oreos. Got some watermelon. And lastly, I got some shrimp. This is peeled and deveined tail off raw shrimp, so I got these. What size? Oh, I got a medium. I got a medium like this. 
like I'm about to put them on. Um, and then I got some gourmet sharp cheddar cheese here. So that's all I got from the grocery store. I shouldn't have um, gotten that much stuff because Thanksgiving is next week. Well, this is only breakfast and a snack. I'm tripping. But yeah, I feel like there's an update. Oh yeah, so I know the last time I um, filmed, I told you guys that my couch, um, they said was too big to fill it, fit in the elevator. So I called Race Hill, let them know that their um, furniture delivery people did not even put in effort and they blatantly told me no, that they weren't gonna try again. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but if I hadn't been by myself, I probably would have done something stupid like cuss them out or I probably would have cussed them out. I ain't gonna say what else. But um yeah, so they call me and they call me and rescheduled the delivery for tomorrow. So prayerfully and I'm thanking God in advance that my couch will be in my living room where it is supposed to be tomorrow. Um, so I don't want to talk too much about that because it just pisses me off how that last time went. Um, so this is going to be the third time that I've actually had someone here to deliver a couch. Um, yeah, that's all. It is 7.17. I am, um, tired. I did not go to bed last night until like 2, um, a.m. and I worked today so I'm just ready to wind down. I probably will find something to watch on Netflix. Y'all, why I pull my chair to the... Okay, girl. Don't be disrespectful. I put my chair to the middle of the floor. <laughs> I was watching... Um, What did I watch? I watched The Harder They Fall. So I pulled that chair to the middle of the floor that night watch um that that was a really good movie oh my gosh i want to tell it but i'm not if you have not seen it definitely check it out because it was really good the end was a big shocker to me um what else i think that's all guys i'm tired so i'm just gonna um, put this away i need some good sleep tonight because i have a long day tomorrow I'm gonna um, heat up my salmon so I can put that on top of my salad and I'm gonna call it a night. I may try out this new wine tonight. I'm not sure, I may wait, but I also have some other sweet red wine in the fridge already chilled. So yeah, I'll probably go with that one. Let this one chill overnight. But anyways, y'all, happy Friday. Um, thank y'all for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, y'all. Yeah. I wake from my slumber. I wish I could call you up. Miss how you put your love on me. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is 11.48. Um, I made those shrimp and grits earlier. Wow, I didn't know I had it in me. They were so good. I have some leftovers here. So I'm going to put these up. They've been sitting out on the counter for probably about 45, 30, 45 minutes now. I had to let them cool down before I put them in the fridge. But y'all, why was my furniture delivery changed from today to Tuesday? Nobody called me.
thank god i check my emails the way i do which is all day every day or else i wouldn't have known and i would have been sitting here in this house waiting on them to deliver my furniture and them not show up then i really would have been pissed long story short they're not delivering my furniture um i had to set it as pickup so i'm currently going crazy out of my mind trying to find um someone who can deliver my furniture today can't do it tomorrow because the warehouse that it is at is closed um i'm just super frustrated i have to get a car repair this afternoon at 2 45 so i'm praying that if this delivery place hits me back that the only time that they're available isn't when I'm going to get my car repaired. So hopefully they can work with me. Um, he quoted me a reasonable price, but right now I am headed to Ashley Furniture to let them know how disappointed I am in their services and um, to get my refund. So yeah, it's 11.51 now, I'm about to head out. I have my, lap my laptop because I do plan on editing um, while I'm at the car dealership. I already told y'all before, like if I'm just sitting there and I know I could be working, that's not gonna go well with me. Also, I, you know what, I need to fix me some coffee. I guess I'll show y'all how I do it. Let me turn these lights on. So, yeah, how are you guys? Are you guys having a good a good Saturday? I woke up at like 3.50 this morning. And then I went to the bathroom. And then I went to sleep, went back to sleep and woke up at seven something. show y'all my ingredients so I have what I showed you guys last night <clears throat> okay I have this 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 let me get my cinnamon powder da -da 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 -da. I'm really trying to remain in good spirits because yeah so First off, I'm gonna take this cup. Let me keep my phone nearby just in case he texts me back. The delivery people, that is. So what you wanna do first is have some caramel drizzle. I'm just gonna drizzle this in the cup all with your way. Sometimes I go a little OD on it. But yeah, next I'm gonna go fill this up with ice. Okay, maybe not all the way, but my ice stops at about right there. I am going to pour this so we're gonna pour this in here it smells good I love the smell of coffee about that much then I'm gonna pour in the creamer caramel macchiato creamer like that and I'm gonna taste it just to make sure I don't need any more this should be good but I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I like that coffee. All right, next I'm going to add the whipped cream. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, yum. 
And I'm gonna take this ground cinnamon, oop, and just sprinkle it on top. And there we have it, Kashayla's homemade coffee. <laughs> I played so much. Let me show y'all. So, this is what that looks like. Is it focused? So here it is, Kashayla's homemade coffee. All right, y'all. Let's put these away and get out of here. Well, guys, um, I literally just got here. Hey, I wasn't even in there five minutes. This photo feels great. What? That's what's going on. Thank God that didn't take long. I ain't had to be in there all day. Um, so yeah, I'm about to FaceTime my mama. I was rude to her earlier. I had to hang up on her. I apologize for hanging up on you, but you made me mad. Thank you. I know you don't care. Do you accept my apology or do you want to fight? We gonna fight. We gonna fight it out this time. <laughs> Anyways, um... You see where I'm at? Hold on. In a truck. Ma, what? Are you in a truck or in your car? No, I'm in my car. I came to get my refund. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. And, um, huh? I told you about finding people on Facebook. Ma, it's a moving, they're legit. Yeah, okay. They are. So anyways, yeah, I'm waiting on him to respond back to me. And you know, I got to the warehouse closes at 5.30. Time is just ticking. And they're not open tomorrow or Monday. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. It is 8.59. <sighs> Guys, we have a lot to catch up on. So let's get into it so I can get out the house. Um... I think the last time I talked to y'all, I was waiting for a delivery. That never showed. Um, all right, so boom. Meanwhile, in my head, I gotta have this couch. Like, it's the holidays, I gotta have this couch. Like, y'all playing with me. <laughs> y'all playing with me. So, yeah, I remember showing y'all I got my refund for the uh delivery fee that i paid so i had to literally go on facebook and find a moving company that was able to do it today or well, yesterday so i was able to find one when i tell y'all thank god for facebook thank god for social media especially like when you need them that day because i would have been shit in okay so the name of the moving company, and I actually need to do this review before I, um, before I leave the house, but the name of this moving company is called Joplin. Um, he texted me yesterday. Yeah, I need to leave it. It's called um, Joplin, J-O-P-L-I-N, Logistics um, slash Joplin Movers, LLC. So I'm going to leave them a review. But when I tell you, I called him. I was like, look, <laughs> I need you. And I need you today. Like, do you have anything? Um, when I told him the issue with the other movers, he, um, I ain't going to cap. He was kind of like, ooh, if we have to go up the steps, then, you know, I'm going to have to charge a little extra because, my couch would not fit in the elevator so um yeah basically he came um he got to me in a timely manner very professional um they even put my my couch legs on for me i'm just super happy that i finally have what i need <laughs> my couch i am going to turn the camera around and show you guys um I think I am gonna, well, I'll show you, I'll show you first. There she is, guys. There's my baby. 
there's my baby so this couch is so soft like I love it so much but um okay so here's the thing I hate these pillows I wish it was just this color all around but it's not it has a pattern on the back so I am in search of pillow covers maybe emerald green because this pillow is just not big enough. It's not doing it for me. So I'm going to look for an emerald green for both of these pillows. I feel like I may keep this gray or I may try to find like a black um, pillow cover for these two. So we're looking at, let me step back. We're looking at emerald green pillow covers for those, black for those. And I don't know what I want to do with that. I could put this in this chair, chair, but I do feel like the green is too dark against the black. Let me show y'all. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. So, yeah. Um, the next part of completing my living room is... Um, I want one of those like arch pieces to put on here. Um, I did think about books, but I thought it was kind of cliche. So I don't know if I want to put books on the table. Um, I'm thinking of maybe a tray for the remote. Um, and I do want to get like a basket to put some throws over here because there's an area right here that I want to fill. So I want to get like a big basket to put right there for my throws. Um, what else? Hmm, I think that's all. I'm just super happy to have my couch now. And I'll pick up some, you know, the little knickknacks along the way. But, um, I would say I'm about 98, 99% done with my living room. So, here is an overview of what it's looking like. Super, 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 super happy. Okay, so I had to close my blinds. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's what we're looking like so far. So yeah, y'all, I'm very excited. Also, it's something, oh, let me show y'all my neck. So my neck has cleared up. It just has, these dark spots right here that I don't think it's going to take a long time to clear. I do have a dark spot right here, but that's clearing up as well. And yeah, here's the update. It's still dark, but I am treating it. So also today is going to be a fun day because I'm going out with some friends. Um, I have no clue where we're going. We may go to Crew. That's a hookah spot um, because it's it's game day, and I think it's the first time. It's the first game since Cam's return to the Panthers. First home game. Um, so. I just feel like the city about to be lit. <laughs> but um, yeah, we about to be outside. We either go on a crew. It's this new sports bra, sports bar. I need to take a nap. It's this new sports bar uptown Charlotte called Stadium. So we may go there. Um, and I think 15 on one may be an option, but I'm not too sure because I don't know if they have, well, I seen that they have heaters, but I just don't know what type of vibe that's about to give. It's cold outside. So yeah. Um, so the next time I get on this camera, I'm not going to be looking full. I'm going to be cute. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all an update of my apartment. Um, my couch is here finally, so I'm super happy. And, um, I got about three, four hours to do what I need to do before I have to be ready for the day. And I'll come back on here um, when I'm getting ready or 
already ready so talk to y'all later hey guys happy sunday it's 302 and look who's here her drinking her wine she brought me a gift we got some wine over there she brought me a gift i'm so excited can i open it now or you sure okay, now. okay hold on i don't want to get too much booby all right so we have a card <laughs> that's Kudos, hooray, you did it, fantastic, way to go. In other words, congratulations. Lots of love, laugh, and fun memories in your new place. Congratulations again, love you, Meg. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, now how did you know? Megan, I needed something to go on that. Um... Isn't it cute, right? Megan! Uh... This says, look at you getting your own apartment and shit. Oh my God. Isn't it cute? It's perfect and it smells good. And it's black owned. Really? Yes. It's eternal light candle on Instagram. And like, her candles are bomb. Megan! Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love this. And I was like, what can I put on that table? Have you seen those little arch things? Mm -hmm. I need a like a matte black and then set. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Oh, too much titty going on. Hey guys, so, um, what was I saying? We just parked and we're about to go in 1501 and it's over here. It's over there. So, say hey ladies. <laughs> Paying for parking now. Um, it feels good out here actually. I thought it was going to be cold. But it's actually nice because I got my chest out, child. But I feel really pretty. <laughs> now we're about to go in here and see what the vibe like. I don't hear a DJ though. Usually I hear music. Yeah, it is game day. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all inside. <laughs> So it's about 9.50 now, um, in the bed. Um, 15.01 was fun. I actually been home since like seven something. When we got there, I guess people were still at the game or wherever they were, but um, it was like a flood came in there and it got packed. I uh, had a good time, had some hookah. I had a royal flushing, I think that's what she called, Megan got us all shots of that so yeah we had that and she also Megan ordered some shrimp with some rice and that shrimp was so good oh my god it was seasoned so good but yeah I had a good time and then all of a sudden I started to feel like sick like nauseous um and I didn't know at first why I just came home and like got in a bed and I started to feel better but I think it was because I only ate once today and that was like around 8 30 this morning um before I left the house and that's all I had eaten today so I actually just ate just a second ago who is this that's my auntie um so, um, yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm tired, y'all. Oh, and then, too, I just wanted to be in my bed. Like, I just be wanting to be at home all the time. Nothing, there's nothing like having your own sanctuary where you can just come home and relax, be by yourself, be at peace, not a lot of noise. Um... So yeah. 
anyways i'm closing out this vlog i don't mean to leave it on a like damper but i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired i know i say that all the time but i plan on getting some good sleep tonight i just ate so that should be working up in me um mm -hmm. so um yeah that's all i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching again i hope you guys have a happy 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 thanksgiving and be safe if you are going shopping on black friday um sis need a new tv so if um one of y'all want to get me that we can um, talk about that but um yeah y'all have a good week thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment thumbs up and subscribe and um i will see you guys in my next video i love y'all so much look it's time for me to go to bed i love y'all good night y'all bye